Y'all are probably gonna get sick of seeing these zinnias, but I cannot help but go get the camera every time a new one opens up because they're so beautiful. And this was my first year starting them from seed, so I really didn't know what to expect or how good they would do. And I'm just really excited. Good morning friends welcome back and thank you all so much for being here with me today i'm excited for today because we're going to be going out and doing some thrifting together i'm going to bring you along it's been a while since i've been out thrifting through the week um i've been going on the weekends my husband and i've been going together to pick out items for the vintage shop and um to add to our home and we have made that our new little weekend outing of going together but I used to find really, really good stuff through the week, and like I said, it's been a while since I have been out and about through the week, and to bring y'all along for a thrift with me, so I thought that that would be fun to do today, and I'm excited to go to some different places that I haven't been to in a while and see what I can find, um, and I thought it'd be fun to do it together, and then I also have some packages I need to drop off at the post office, so we're going to go do that first, and then after that, we will head on to the thrift store, and I will see you as soon as we get there. I'm here at our first stop and we're gonna go through all these dishes. I always head straight to the homeware section first to see if they have out anything new. And I was excited to be here early in the week because like I said, um, I have been going on the weekends and I love going through the week because I feel like a lot of places will stock on Mondays or Tuesdays. So you kind of have that fresh stuff after it's been picked over through the weekend. Not only is it less crowded through the week, but also they will put out some new finds. So I was excited to see if I could find anything good. And I tried to avert my eyes from this section, but I had to take a little peek. I loved this little like clay pottery pumpkin, but I just knew I did not need any more little sit around pumpkins. Um, but I thought he was really cute and I had to share. And then I'm gonna look through some of the baskets and then I had to show y'all this really cool lamp. It is a watering can and I just thought it was so unique. I've never seen a lamp like this. Unfortunately, the cord was cut on it. Um, so it would have to be like maybe rewired, but it had a really beautiful shade. I love the print and the pink color on the shade and I thought it was just a really unique piece. Also, always browse through the frame section because I love to look for little antique gold frames and stuff like that and they have really good prices on all of their frames.
was only in Goodwill for about two seconds. I just ran in and ran out because I didn't see anything, but I had to show you this incredible organ. Can you imagine having a spot to put this in your house? Oh my goodness. <laughs> incredible. Stopped and got a little refreshment to finish off this thrifting adventure. Let's head in. I thought that this large brass bowl was really neat. I just kind of pictured this on a big kitchen island if you had a really large open area um, that needed to be filled and you wanted to add like some vintage character to it, to add that in, use it to put your fruit in or to just hold your, you know, fruit and veggies on the counter or anything. You could even put vase filler. Um, but I thought, how cool would that be to, like I said, just add a bunch of character and to pull in that brass, especially if maybe you have a lot of other brass accents throughout your home. But I've never seen a big brass bowl like that, so I just had to share. Let me know if you collect vintage perfume bottles because I'm so drawn to them. I look at them anytime I see them at an antique or thrift store because I think they're beautiful and I loved all of these. I fell in love with that like Cinderella blue one and I wanted to bring it home but I kind of don't know how I would use them and I felt like they're kind of unfunctional because you can't really hold anything in them. Um, or do anything with them but also they're beautiful on display so I kind of was torn on whether to get that one or not but let me know if you collect them and how you display them or maybe what you do with them give me some ideas um, I actually got one for like two dollars at a thrift store and I have that on my vanity but that's the only one that I have so far because I'm just not exactly sure what to do with them um, but let me know, like I said, if you collect them, I would love to hear. And then I had to show you all of these gorgeous pictures, such good options to add to a gallery wall. Okay, this is another piece that I would love for you to leave me ideas for. I love this so much. It's this beautiful glass display cabinet, but I'm trying to think of what I could display in it other than like makeup or beauty products because I don't have too much of that stuff. And also what I do have is not very aesthetically pleasing to where it looks like vintage and I would want to display it in here. Um, I just have it like in a makeup bag. So... I don't know if I would want to display really necessarily makeup in it, but I was even thinking like little tiny creamers or maybe, I don't know, some of those vintage perfume bottles would be pretty, but also I kind of want it to be functional. So I didn't know exactly what I would put in here, but if I could come up with some good ideas for it to be worth that price, um, I might go back and get it because it's so beautiful. It's just one of those pieces that I feel like is really unique and you don't see them a ton and I have not stopped thinking about it since the day I saw this and like what I could put in it or where I could put it um, and all of that. So I would love your ideas down below. I also loved that pink floral covered vegetable dish. I have 
that same pattern vegetable dish it's just a longer shape that I have displayed in my hutch I found that a couple weeks ago and that one matches and it was only $18 which is not a bad price at all for a piece like that I feel like they're really unique and just really beautiful Okay, I'm going to share with y'all what I found today. I uh, went ahead and unwrapped everything over there so that it wouldn't make a bunch of noise from all the bags. Um, but I'm excited to share with y'all what I brought home. I didn't find too many things, but I did find a few little goodies. And then I also found one really big thing that I'm most excited about. And I will take the camera over and share that with you um, after I show all the little items. But it's this really beautiful antique piece. And I cannot wait to find a spot for that. But let's go ahead and get started with the rest of the haul. One of the first things I picked up is this really beautiful creamy white swirl pattern little ironstone sugar dish. I have one of these displayed in my hutch and then I have two of these that I have sold on the shop and y'all seem to really love these when I list them so I thought I would go ahead and get another one because they are so easy to decorate with. You can do so many different things with them not only use it as a decorative piece but you could also really use your um, or use it at your coffee bar to put your sugar in um, or if you have just like little stir sticks you could open this up and display your little coffee stirs in here you could use it in the bathroom for um, cotton balls or q-tips there's just lots of different um, ways to use these in your vintage decor. It's a really versatile piece and I love any type of um, small little creamy white dish so I thought that this was a really good find. Um, I believe this was around four or five dollars and I just really wanted to pick this up to add to the shop so that was the first little find. And then the next things I am so so excited about these. These were I believe $10.99 or $11.99 but they are such a good um, again versatile piece that you can use in so many different ways and I feel like they're pretty rare to find and I just think they're beautiful so they are these whole set of copper and brass measuring cups that is what the inside looks like and then that's what the handle looks like the smallest one, let's see, is two ounces. So cute. And then the largest one is eight ounces. Um, this one does have a little bit of um, discoloration a bit and just like patina on this side. But I'm sure with a little cleaning up, that would probably come off maybe with some copper cleaner. But I love using these as scoops and canisters or, of course, just decorating with them. They're super cute to hang up like this and show the copper side. You could display these um, like underneath your kitchen range hood. I've seen that a lot before. Or in a pantry, you could like hang them up if you have like a beautiful decorated pantry. Then... They would look super cute in there or just as scoops in your little canisters we don't have a pantry so that's usually where i will stick all of mine um but they just make the most beautiful addition to your kitchen sorry if i'm too descriptive but i really like to try to give ideas and just um share with you ways that i would use the items or how they would be pretty displayed so i hope y'all don't mind the chatty hauls and then the next thing that i found is this set of three green depression glass plates i have found the little dessert plates um, that match this before but i've never seen the large dinner plates so i thought that these would be really pretty to add to a spring or summer tablescape um i just love green depression glass y'all know that if you watch my channel i wish it had been a set of four but unfortunately there was only three of them but i still just had to get them for 6.99 um and i will insert some pictures of some really pretty ways that you can use these again if you maybe need some ideas of how to display them in your home um and kind of what they look like decorated with but i just think 
this glass is so pretty i love any sort of depression glass mainly the pink the green and the blue is what i'm always drawn to but all of it is just absolutely gorgeous and i will try to show you a close-up of the design on these it's like a really pretty design in the middle and all around the edges and then the last little items that i found is this set of blue and white it's blue willow um ironstone and it is a pitcher and then four cute tiny little teacup and saucers so i thought these were precious and all of the little saucers at the bottom have this really beautiful ironstone stamp which i loved i love a good ironstone stamp and then the little teacups are just precious they're so tiny i wish i had room to keep everything because i would absolutely love to keep this but I am gonna list it and it will be available. I'll try to have everything that will be available um, already listed. By the time this video goes up, I'd like to have it already posted ahead of time. That way, anything that you see that you like, it will immediately be over there on the shop. So I will try to have this listed and um, available if you're interested. But this is what the picture looks like. It is the Blue Willow pattern. And I actually Googled this um, right when I got home and it said that this was like a milk pitcher. Um, so creamer, little milk pitcher, whatever you want to call it is what I believe that this is. But it's a super beautiful blue and white design. And then all of the teacups are the same. And there's actually two extra saucers that didn't have teacups with them. So two of them will just be extra with no teacup but i'm still definitely going to list it all in one big set that is the thing about thrifting sometimes you just don't find all of it in a set all together it might be split up or pieces missing but if it's a really beautiful set then i always still pick it up even if it has pieces missing or um maybe it's not a full set you know maybe there's only three depression glass plates or something like that i still always like to get it because um you might find the matching piece later on if you're out a lot and go into different thrift stores you might eventually come across that missing piece um or you can definitely still decorate with them even if there's not a full set of something i've just always been like that if it's missing or you know not all there it doesn't bother me because i'm like well i can still use it i can still display it if i really love it so anyway even though there was two missing teacups i thought it was still too beautiful to pass up so i hope that you enjoyed coming along with me for this little thrifting day um, i'm gonna take the camera over and share with you the big piece that i found next here's the large piece that i found this is a vintage parlor mirror and i love all the detail on it it is this beautiful antique gold color um, with so many details and i cannot wait to find a spot to put this it was under 40 dollars, and i just could not pass it up for that price and i knew that i would eventually find the perfect spot for it i'm either thinking in the dining room or i wanted to put it above the tv but it's just too big it's even bigger than the tv stand so it kind of looked disproportionate when we held it up so we are gonna try to find another spot for it and i will eventually share with you where we decide um, to put it even if i have to use it in a future home um, one day down the road i just had to go ahead and get it for that price because when you find unique pieces like this um, and you see them it's just good if you love it to go ahead and get it because you might not find something that unique again um so anyway that's why i decided to go ahead and get it so if you watched my previous video i shared a big garden haul and i said that i wanted to share with you some more recipes using our fresh produce this summer and one of the things i had on my list that i wanted to make soon was stuffed bell peppers and since i was making this recipe on this night after i got home from thrifting i decided to film it and just add it right into this thrifting video because i didn't know when my next day in the life video was going to go up so i was like i'll just throw it at the end of this video so i hope you enjoy seeing this little recipe today this is actually a twist on 
on the traditional stuffed bell pepper recipe because we don't really love regular stuffed bell peppers. It's something about the big cooked pepper. We would prefer it to just be diced up and mixed in with the meat and rice mixture. So I found this on Pinterest and it's something that we love and we will be making this on rotation this summer. It's a perfect way to use up our garden bell peppers and enjoy them in a delicious meal that is packed with so much flavor and it only takes 30 minutes to make and it actually has several of our homegrown goodies in it including this homegrown onion so that makes me happy and this is the ground beef I'm going to use. This is local ground beef from Laurel Creek Farms. Definitely reach out to them if you are needing some ground beef in your local. I absolutely love them. They also have a whole zinnia farm and you can go cut zinnias there. We love it. Um, and so I'm going to first brown the ground beef the recipe said you could also use ground turkey or like ground chicken if you want it to be even healthier but we really love this local beef um, so i'm gonna brown that first and then set it to the side and then i'm gonna throw in all of the peppers and onions and get those sauteed up and then after they start to get a little soft i'm gonna add in the garlic and this garlic is also grown locally um, by our amish friends that are right down the road and we are super super happy to get to incorporate this into our meals. Here's a look at all the seasonings you'll need and we're going to add in the tomato paste and then add in all of our seasonings and get that all mixed together and then you're going to add in a little bit of pasta sauce. This kind of reminds me of homemade sloppy joes if you've ever made those before. It has a lot of the same ingredients including like the tomato paste and it tastes really similar but I did do the bell pepper chunks bigger than I would do in sloppy joes um, just to really enhance that like stuffed bell pepper flavor um but yeah it's actually really similar except for we are going to serve this over rice so that makes it a little bit different but so so good Also, I recently got these measuring spoons from Amazon and I love how thin they are. They fit down inside of all of my spice jars so well and they're also this beautiful gold color but I wanted these for so long and I kept putting it off and then I finally got them and I can't believe I didn't get them sooner because it just makes seasoning things so much easier when they'll fit inside of any of the jars that I have. Um, so I will link those below if you are interested. I just thought it was a really good Amazon find. You're also gonna add in a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. And like I said, we had this over rice and I decided to add a few things to the rice to just enhance the flavor a bit because that's one thing we didn't love about traditional stuffed peppers is that the rice was just so plain. So I wanted to give it some flavor. I added the rest of the jar of that tomato sauce that we opened um, to go in the meat mixture. And then I also added two cups of chicken broth, some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper to just really like I said, give it a better flavor and it really made it good. And then I chopped up some homegrown parsley to sprinkle on top, which adds a slight flavor and then beautiful color. And that is it for this recipe. Y'all will have to let me know if you decide to try this and what you think of it. Um, a really good way to use up some garden produce like peppers and onions and 
it's super quick to make and just delicious. So let me know what you think. Also, thank you so much for coming along thrifting with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so fun to bring you along and subscribe if you want to see more thrifting and cooking gardening content. I can't wait to share more in the upcoming weeks. I have some more um, recipes and stuff like that I'm going to add to the end of my videos. It's just really easy to throw this in at the end and share with you what we're having for the night and hopefully inspire you with some ideas if you need recipe inspiration or if you're growing a garden and you want to know what to cook with your goodies then I hope this can inspire you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you all next time.